five twister for the entire Hunt County. Meteorologists still don't know what's causing these sudden storms. Ellen, we've got to go! Daddy! We're urging everyone to get underground immediately, including us. <laughs> We should be safe here. Buggy! The door! Stay here! Be careful, Daddy! Don't worry, baby. The odds of a twister actually ripping open a cellar door are... Well, I guess I don't really know what those odds are. Huh! Daddy! Ah! Daddy! Whoa! Stay with me! Just stay with me! Stay with me, Helen! Stay with me, Helen! Huh? Look out! Ah! I left the stove on! Where were you back there? That was the third time we've almost died this week. One more and I get a free smoothie. Sorry, just the storm and everything. I was thinking about my dad. You can't bring him back, Helen, no matter how many storms you chase. That's not what it's about, Bill. It's about getting to the cause of these twisters, so no more baby carrots have to see their dad sucked away. Look, these storms seem pretty random, but I think this last one established a pattern. See? Would you please stop randomly spitting seeds? Okay! I didn't think that would actually work. Hey! You said to stop spitting randomly, so I did. Now I'm aiming them. See? Oh, hey, Orange, would you cut the shenanigans? You're messing with my workout. Fine! Yeah! And can you turn off the blender too? It's freaking me out! spit any seeds at the blender. Oh, really? Then who did? Seriously, it wasn't me, I swear. Look, he's right. Uh, okay, uh, that's starting to freak me out too. Don't worry, I got this. Uh -oh. This is where the next twister should be. Help me with the probes. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're storm chasers. We think there's about to be a tornado in here. What? Inside? Here? Yes, we don't really know what's causing them, but your kitchen is definitely next. Our probes here should tell us why. Hey, we make it through storm number four tonight, and I get that free smoothie. Smoothie? Oh, smoothie, of course. The tornadoes are being caused by malfunctioning blenders. Well, I've just been on the fritz lately. Just started on its own all of a sudden. Squash, can you unplug it? <laughs> oh no! It's battery power! Ah! Ah! There's nothing we can do! We have to get somewhere safe! The oven! Steel walls, underground. We should be pretty safe in here. The probes are rooted up. If the twister picks them up, we should have a full readout on it. More data than anyone's ever had before. That's it, we've got it. I can finally analyze an entire twister. Uh, hey, does it seem a little warm to anybody? My bad, body temperature's still up from my workout. Ah, oh, crap, the oven's on. Well, if I'm gonna get baked, at least I'm getting baked with my friends. I am not getting baked, let's go. Well, you can't go outside either. Maybe we can ride the storm out before we broil. Doesn't look like it. Computer predicts this one could last a whole hour. We'll be charred crisp by then. Wait, yes, that's it. Maybe we can jam the blender's blades and stop them from spinning. With what? They're built to slice and dice. Game over, man, game over. The probes, they're metal. If we can shoot enough down the cyclone, that should jam the blades. But who can aim them? <laughs> Anyone else got a case of cotton mouth? It's like an oven in here. Well, you just volunteered yourself, Orange. Remember, spit as many of those probes down as you can. You only have a few seconds before the cyclone sucks you down into those blades, too. So be quick. Sounds like a challenge. They don't call me the spitting citrus for nothing. <laughs> do we do the right thing? No, but it is quieter now. Now we know how to 
to stop the tornadoes. Hey, where's my truck? I just wish my dad could see what we've done. He'd be so proud. <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> I thought I'd never get down from there. Those twisters kept me spinning in the air for 20 years. But I knew you'd get me down, baby. A family reunion. It's so sweet. I, I must have something in my eye. Ah, uh, that's nice. Agreed. They really know how to put the care in carrot, don't they? <laughs> my name's Orange. And my name's Pear. Which is a huge coincidence, because I just so happen to be an orange, and he's a pear. <laughs> yeah, har, har. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of How To. This week, we've got an orange-approved question from Pink Master, who wants to know how to survive an alien invasion. Yeah. I'm not sure how we're supposed to do this episode considering aliens haven't been discovered yet. Oh, honky, they haven't been discovered. Step aside, Pear. I got oodles of experience with aliens. You do? Sure. I've been abducted at least 10 times. Aliens aren't alien to me. <laughs> wow, that actually explains a lot. So the most important thing to remember is if you see an alien, don't freak out. At least not right away, anyway. <laughs> uh. Step one, before you freak out, see if they're friendly. Lots of aliens are friendly. They might just want to poke you a bit or get some cotton swabs of your saliva or look at you with their mirrored eyes. You know, the usual stuff. Yeah, I most certainly do not know. All right, I keep forgetting you're completely ignorant about aliens. The friendly ones are usually just here for scientific research. All you gotta do is lay back, relax, and let them shoot lasers at ya. <laughs> wait, wait, lasers? Oh yeah, a lot of lasers. And these are the friendly ones? Mm-hmm, but they're not all friendly, believe you me. Um, so what do you do if they're not friendly? Step two, if they're not friendly, fight back with everything you got. I'm talking karate chops, TNT, kicks, punches, TNT, spinning seeds, TNT, and finally, TNT. Yeah, 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 yeah. That seems like a disproportionate amount of TNT. Nah, it doesn't matter anyways, because they got lasers, and the unfriendly ones have really big lasers. Ah, whoa, ah, so what are you supposed to ah, do if they have massive lasers? Ah, they can completely destroy us all. Ah. Step three, if you can't beat them, join them. I recommend a good costume. Be sure to spring for the mirrored eyes, and the more tentacles, the better. Oh man, these guys are always falling for the big tentacles. <laughs> okay, I got the tentacles. Oh, and dunking yourself in onion juice is good too, because they kind of smell like that. I got it. So, am I safe now? Are the aliens gonna kill me? One last step. You just have to read this piece of paper out loud. Orange totally got me. <laughs> totally got you, Pear. What the? I can't believe you fell for it. Yay! It was all a prank. I love pranks. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> Silly, Pear. Aliens aren't real. So, this was all fake. The spaceships, the aliens, the lasers? Yep. <laughs> well, almost. The lasers were real. We're gonna have to return these babies and lock them up. Look out! Yeah. The lasers are even bouncing off the mirror's eyes! Come on, hurry up! Hurry up over there! We don't have much time! Hey, what's the rush? Yeah, why all the pep in your step? <laughs> don't you know the end of days is upon us? Why aren't you packed? You've got to get to your bunker if you're gonna survive. Bunker? We don't have a bunker. Then you are doomed. The first omen of the prophecy is already upon us. Warren, ah, you gotta get into that bunker. Ow! Right in my mind, Ryan. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. You guys can come in. Just no more bad jokes, okay? No promises. We have some new friends. Bunker Buddies. I've always wanted Bunker Buddies. <laughs> bunker Buddies. Yo, stop saying Bunker Buddies. Bunker Bubbies. Stop saying Bunker Bubbies too. <laughs> Bubbies isn't a word, silly. Enough. If our friends wish to stay with us, they must learn of the prophecy. The prophecy. prophecy. Um, okay. <clears throat> It says here, the end of days shall be preceded by darkness and wind. Yeah, doesn't every day end with darkness? It's called night. Yeah, and isn't there wind passing through the kitchen every day too? It's called... <laughs> Do not mock the prophecy. 
The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. Okay, that's enough. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. Hey, hey. Stop saying the prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. <laughs> My word, it's you. You're the annoyer. The annoyer. What's the deal with this? Is there like a list of phrases that must be repeated? Must, must be, be repeated. repeated! Silence everyone! The third omen speaks of a bright and spherical being, one whose annoyance is unmatched. And this annoyer shall proceed the fourth omen! <gasps> the fourth omen? What's the fourth omen? The end of the entire kitchen! And what's the fifth omen? Doofus, there's literally nothing after the end of the kitchen. Gah, you are so annoying! Oh, I'm supposed to ask precisely the point? Yes, the point. No, point. Huh? Ah! Yeah! Ah! Oh, well, how do you explain that, huh? We all survived. I, well, I guess it wasn't the end of the kitchen after all. Perhaps I misinterpreted the prophecy. The prophecy. prophecy. For goodness' sake, stop saying the prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. Oh, great. Looks like they're in a prophecy, prophecy loop again. We should get out of here. This will be a while. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. The prophecy. Hey, fruit lovers! Try not to quake in your boots, but I shudder to think how this episode is gonna rock. <laughs> That's right. Strap in, folks, because today KC Luke wants to know how to survive an earthquake. Nice. Way to shake it up with that question, Casey. <laughs> hey. Now, everyone should know how to prep for an earthquake, and that means being prepared ahead of time. Step one, before the big one hits, take the time to make an earthquake kit. That's right. It should include all of the absolute essentials. Water, food. Pictures of your dog. Some cash. A DVD of Tango and Cash. A first aid kit. Kits from Knight Rider. Orange. Oh, good idea. Put me in your earthquake kit. You'll definitely want me around. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I'm yelling at you because you're putting non-essential items in our earthquake kit. Yo, what you talking about? Pictures of my dog very, very important to me. Dude, you don't even have a dog. Come on, um, uh, pictures of my neighbor's dog are very, very important to me. Ugh, whatever, dude. Pack your earthquake kit however you'd like. Just don't come crying to me when you run out of medical supplies. And you better not come crying to me when you run out of Slurpee. <laughs> Ooh, ice cream headache. <laughs> dude, that looks disgusting. But it tastes like heaven. Moving on. Step two, when an earthquake hits, stay near walls, under heavy furniture, or stand in a doorway. You might also want to try to make noises while the ground is shaking. Why's that? Because your voice sounds super funny when you're vibrating. Duh, Luke, I am your father. <laughs> uh, step three, when the earthquake ends, don't try to use elevators. Stay out of damaged buildings, and whatever you do, do not light matches. Aww. There might be broken gas lines because of the earthquake. Ah, good point, good point. You're absolutely right. There might be gas in the air. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Woo Whoa, nice air, Pear. <laughs> that was so cool. Slutty impresses you, does it, Passion? Well, feast your eyes on this. No hands. No hands? Oh my gosh. Yes, it's a sensation akin to why they call me the sled hammer. Are you gonna go with no hands, Orange? Nope, I'm gonna do something even cooler. No sled! <laughs> oh no, Orange! Snow bar, snow gun! <laughs> oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Orange really ate it. Nonsense, it looks like he's having a ball. <laughs> they see me rolling, they hate it. Worse. Thanks for doing this family photo, everybody. Now that we're arranged shortest to tell us, everybody Watch say out! trees! Incoming! Ah! These guys are a real pine in my side! <laughs> oh, traffic is the worst. Sorry! Whoops! Ah! Looks like I've got a crush on you! <laughs> nice! 
Thanks, mysterious juggernaut snowball! And with enough effort and hard work, someday you guys could be just like me. You'll see the majestic Rocky Mountain. Psych! And if you look to your left, you'll see the Great Wall of China. Um, I've seen greater walls than this in my living room. Zing! Uh, mm, hey, Moon, I've got this pain on my back. You mind taking a look? Um, I do not see anything. Huh, must be nothing. No, dude, I mean, I don't see anything there. You're missing a few continents. Oh! Oh! What's happening to me? What's happening to... Oh! Oh! Don't worry, Moon. There's space for one more. <laughs> Orange and pear. Orange and pear. Best friends forever and they share underwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, none of that is true. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Fruity Toots, Underwear Sharing BFF's Orange and Pear here with another episode of How To. Uh, this week, Nyan Sheep wants to know how to survive a tornado. Great question, Nyan Sheep, and an equally great screen name if I do say so myself. <laughs> Please don't do the song. Uh, moving on. Okay, step one. Listen for tornado sirens. That's right. If tornadoes are common in your area, your town probably has tornado sirens that sound like this. Orange, orange, please, please stop. That doesn't even sound like a tornado siren. Uh, sorry, sorry, let me try again. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, no, I meant no, as in please stop. Tell me my tornado siren sounds are accurate. No. Okay, 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 fine. Very, very accurate. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Step two, when the tornado arrives, make sure you've made your way into the storm cellar. That's right. A storm cellar can protect you from the violent weather while you and your loved ones remain safe and sound underground. <laughs> safe and sound underground. That rhymes. Very good, Orange. Here's a gold star. Thank you. And for you, a TNT star. <laughs> Get that away from me! <laughs> Step three, once a tornado has passed, come out of the storm cellar and help others who might need it. That's right! A lot of people might need help with their homework after the tornado blew their textbooks away. Well, that, that's not exactly what I meant. People also might need help with their hair after the tornado messed up their sweet do. Orange, could you please just stay on topic for once? I'm sorry, I apologize. Thank you, now can we- I got you a gift. Because I'm sorry, Bear. All right. But if it's a stick of TNT, I swear. It's not a stick of TNT. I promise. You promise? Yes. I wouldn't give you a stick of TNT, Bear. All right. Nah. My underwear sharing BFF deserves a TNT star. No! <laughs> hey, what's happening? Why is it happening right in the middle of my bubble bath? It's a tornado siren. Quick, turn on the news. An F5 tornado is cutting its way through the city, and it could be headed for the kitchen. With more, we go to Pineapple in the field. Thanks, Tom. I'm not really sure I should be out here. Ow! But I guess this is what wins Emmys. What do you see, Pineapple? What's going on? Well, the tornado is super huge. It's changing course at random, and... Oh, it appears to be heading toward... Oh. My. Pineapple, what is it? It just took out a knife factory, Tom! Oh, this is bad. I gotta get out of here! Stay strong, Pineapple. We need you covering this tornado. This is no tornado, Tom. It could have hundreds, possibly thousands of knives from factories just wrecked. We're dealing with a full-blown knife NATO! And now, uh, we go to Byron with sports. Uh, thanks, Tom. The Cleveland Browns, like, suck. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man! You heard him! That knife NATO could be here any minute! What do we do? 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 Everyone relax. We have a tornado cellar for this exact type of situation. Whoa, really? Whew, that's a relief. You sound surprised, Orange. Sure am. I thought there was no way we'd have the foresight to make a tornado cellar. I figured we'd blow it for sure. <laughs> Orange, last year we tasked you with building the cellar. Um, what? You didn't build the tornado shelter? Where did all the money we gave you go? Um... Definitely not towards these sweet kicks and chains. You don't have feet or a neck. Guys, I hate to break this up, but... Knife NATO! with me. I'll 
low can you go? How low can you go? <laughs> now is not the time, Orange! Little Apple can't participate in the limo contest. That would be cheating. <laughs> Guys, don't look now, but I think the Knife NATO is headed for another factory! Hopefully not another knife factory. Worse! It's a squash factory! No! Safety! Yeah. Now, if there's ever a fire in your house, the first thing to remember is that your life is way more important than any of your stuff. Well, except for the TNT bear. No, your life is more important than anything you own. But TNT bear is my best friend. No, it isn't. You just made him up. Besides, I'm your best friend. I knew it! I finally got you to admit it! <laughs> uh, anyway, if there's a fire, you should immediately get out of your house. You might not be able to use a door, so you can climb out the window. Or burst through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah! Orange! <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. If there's smoke in the house, stay low to the ground. Smoke rises, so there's more breathable air near the floor. Personally, I like to crawl on the floor even when there's not smoke in my house. I like to pretend I'm a worm. Too much info, dude. TNT bear doesn't judge my worm fetish. Why do you even have a teddy bear made out of TNT? But, you know what? Never mind. Somebody's jealous! Shut up! All right, once you're outside a safe distance from the fire, call 911 right away. Okay, what's the number for 911? It's 911, dude. Right, but what's their phone number? I'm telling you, it's 911. Never mind, I'll just ask TNT Bear later. Oh! All right, when the firemen show up, stay back and let them do their job. If there's a pet inside the house... Or a TNT Bear. Leave it to the firefighters to go in after it. They're trained specifically for this very, very dangerous type of work. Thanks, Bear. This has been really helpful. Well, good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm gonna go try out the things you taught me right now. What? No, no, dude, you have to wait until a fire happens. Oh, I guess we shouldn't have told TNT Bear. What the? TNT Bear! No! no! 